I found these two pieces of gorgeous stretch knit velvet at the thrift store and thought, how about a beautiful floor length gown? I started by laying the fabric out and pinning the sides together because this type of fabric is very shifty. Then I took a fitted undershirt, laid it on top of the fabric and traced out the basic shape, adding seam allowance and length. This is a rather fantastic project for beginners if you're really wanting to make a formal gown but haven't sewn much, or maybe you ordered a dress and when it finally arrived it didn't fit right and you need a last minute dress but you really don't have time to go shopping and try on all the dresses again, grab yourself some stretch knit velvet and a fitted shirt. For the front, I made sure to cut it the length of my shoulder to the floor. I then folded the pieces in half to make sure all sides were symmetrical. For the back length, I added a train which I mapped out with pins before cutting. And this is what the pieces ended up looking like. For the front piece, I did cut the top portion below the underarms just a little bit wider than the back. And for the back, I wanted the neckline to be a little bit lower than the front, but I didn't have to be super accurate with that because I could just adjust it later. Then I pinned the shoulders and side seams together and stitched all with a basting stitch. Using the inside out method, I tailored the shape to my shape with pins and then marked it with chalk. I then basted it along the chalk lines, tried it on again, and determined it was an excellent fit, so it was time to finish all the seams. Everything was going swimmingly. I knew something had to be off. Then I realized I had to change the thread. <gasps> Once that tedious business was out of the way, I finished the seams with a zigzag stitch using the basting thread as a guide. I took out the basting thread and trimmed the seams nice and close to prevent bulkiness, which is actually a word, but whenever I type it, autocorrect will simply not have it. And that's the dress fitting nicely. Now it's time to adjust the neckline and make some sleeves. I was about to trace out the sleeves of one of my favorite shirts, and I remembered, hey, I made that shirt, and hey, I documented the pattern. I'm going to go see if I can find it. Surprisingly, I was able to find it quickly, and so I used the pattern. I stitched up the seam on the sleeve and then inserted sleeve hole into armhole. The last set of steps were to finish all the edges. Finishing the edges is a fairly simple task, although the sleeve hem is a bit tricky as it is rather small. You just have to go slow. Basically, turn all the edges under and secure with a zigzag stitch. I like to use a wider and longer zigzag stitch for these sections. And with that, sleeve hem, hem hem, and neckline hem were turned under and the dress was finished. You are possibly thinking, where on earth are you going to wear a dress like this? You have no occasion to go anywhere. On the contrary, I have many places to wear a fancy dress. 